Hi, this is Pro with VIP Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over how to set up a mooching rig. We're going to be using two hooks to set up onto our monofilament leader, um, ideal for trolling for uh, Chinook and, and coho salmon. Okay? So for the demonstration, we're going to be using these oversized hooks and we're going to be using 120 pound Dacron as well, just so you guys can see what we're doing uh, as far as the, as far as the tying goes. Okay, so what you're gonna start with is you have your hook here. Okay, this right here is the shank of the hook. So when I refer to the shank, this is what we're talking about. You're gonna take the line here, bring it down, take it through the top of the eye and bring it down the shank, just like that. Okay, so you got a little bit sticking out the bottom. You're able to pinch that Dacron or pinch the line, whichever line you're gonna be using, down to the shank of the hook, all right? From there, you're gonna take the rest of your leader, you're gonna bring it back through the back of the eye going forward okay this is eventually what's going to be tied to your swivel so that's what we want uh, sticking up the top there now after that's done that line that you just put through the back of the eye is going to lay down the shank of the hook as well all right <clears throat> so then you get a loop that's kind of created like that the loop that's nearest the eye what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to wrap it around the shank of the hook being careful not to overlap yourself, you're going to continue wrapping it until you get about a, oh, about a, anywhere from a third to a halfway down that shank is what I prefer. All right. After that's done, what you're going to do is you, I like to take my middle finger and hold it just like that. With monofilament, what will have a tendency to happen if you don't pitch it down is it'll unravel on you. As soon as you have it pinched down like this, you're going to take that leader that you put up from the back and you're going to slowly pull it through. Just like that there. That cinches everything up. Okay. As soon as you're done with that, if you notice you have this tag sticking out at the bottom, we're simply going to cut that off. Okay. Um, cut it off with my Rambo Bowie knife here. Always cut away from yourself, by the way. Okay. Just like that. All right. Pull it nice and tight, and what that will do is that little stem sometimes, it'll suck it back into those, those loops you just made. So when you're threading it through your herring, it makes it nice and easy to go through that herring. All right, so that's hook number one. That's going to be your trailing hook on your, on your mooching rig leader. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your second hook here, all right, same size. And the sizes I suggest for trolling in the spring for spring chinook is a 3 out. all right? If you're using... If you're using owner hooks, which I prefer, I like to use 3 aught super needle points is what I prefer. The distance between the two eyes of the hook, which the eye is the circle up here, is very, very important depending on what size of herring you're using. Now in the spring, we all use green label herring. The distance from eye to eye, you want it to be three and a half inches. Okay, so I usually kind of measure it out. You got them dangling just like this. Hold that line just along the shank, just like that. And we're gonna repeat the process by going through the back of the eye with the leader, bringing it back up, holding it, creating that loop. Make sure it doesn't get tangled with this bottom guy. I'll have a tendency to do that, okay? then you're. Repeat the process, make wraps down the shank about a third to half of the way down. Hold it with your middle finger and then pull that top one forward, your leader all the way forward, okay? Then you have your two, two hooks ready to go for a mooching rig. Slap on your herring and get ready to fish. Tight lines.